Good afternoon, Jamaicans. You're watching Jamaica News Online TV, and we hope you're having a great day wherever you are. We are bringing you the latest news without bias for the details of our news. Ontario farm workers who are Jamaicans are working in substandard conditions. Stay tuned. This situation with the farm workers is nothing new. A group of migrant farm workers sent a letter to Carl Samuda in 2022, and they were detailing what was going on in there, where they described they had terrible living and working condition. And in the letter, they also told him that they, as migrant workers, they were crammed into crowded living quarters, given insufficient food, subject to verbal abuse and lack of workplace protection. They also described to him that rats were eating their food, physical intimidation, bosses who threatened to fire them, punish them for not working fast enough, and there were exposure to dangerous pesticides and overcrowded, and not to mention the whole place was filled with camera-like prison. They didn't even have privacy to SHIT. Well, now this it is Carl Samud. Per, um, now it's Pernell Charles. Carl Samuda did not do anything about it because he said he went to inv investigate, and he did not see anything. So now, Pernell Charles, Jr., the Minister of Labor and Social Security, declared that he has mandated an emergency investigation into claims that certain Jamaican farm workers in Canada are allegedly living in appalling condition. So according to Mr. Charles, the ministry is closely watching claim from a group of Jamaican farm laborers in Ontario, Canada, who claim they are experiencing subpar living and working condition. They treat them like a dog. Since then, he says, I have commanded an immediate investigation into the living and working condition of the farm workers, especially those from that era where they are on some strike. So Mr. Charles claimed that the most recent report from the employees indicate they have faced adverse living conditions which caused them to withdraw their services in protest on June 1st. The Minister of Labour declared himself committed to preventing abuse of Jamaicans participating in the farm labour program, and I'm hoping that he means what he says. Because what he says is be assured that I and the Ministry of Labour and Social Security remain committed to ensure that every Jamaican farm worker is provided with the best working and living condition, and we will remain unrelenting in our efforts to safeguard the safety and health of our farm workers. He vowed adding that the ministry will collaborate with its partners to ensure the workers' treatment is in line with international standard. So what happened is they, on Thursday, the farm workers withdrew their services because it got to a point where they can't take it anymore because now not only do they don't have any privacy, they're not getting food, there there's no concern for their health and all the other things that they have. But now inside where they are living, there is sewage there running all over the place and that's a condition they really cannot live in. And this is one of the reasons why it got to a boiling point now where they just have to stop working. And according to the Ministry of Labor, they don't believe that the farm where they went last year to investigate is the same one that this is, thing is happening right now. So, guys, you are watching. 
Jamaica News Online TV. Kindly subscribe to this channel for more of the latest news. Share your feedback by leaving a comment. Like the video and share it with your friends and your family to make them aware of Jamaica News Online TV. Have a wonderful day. See you back here on my next video.